Fellow Ambazonians, we have heard you. Many of you have asked when would the governing council be transformed into a government, an interim government of the people of Ambazonia. It is true that when you, def when you declare your restoration and you become a nation like we are now, you then have to appoint ministers, you have to appoint ambassadors who will be take care of the business of a revolution. Fellow Ambazonians, as you would know, all our country leaders do not only act as ambassadors as we speak for our people within the different structures. They've got the Department of Foreign Affairs or Diplomacy, whose main job is foreign affairs and diplomacy. And I can tell you that we have reached out to so many friendly countries. We've reached out to many, so many friendly organizations, including businesses that are committed and ready to ensure that the journey to push out occupier doesn't take long. Fellow Ambazonians, many of you might not know, but I'd like to use this opportunity as instructed by the Governing Council to announce that within the Governing Council, we've got different departments. We've got a Department of Home Affairs, for instance. We've got a Department of Defense. You know, we've got a Department of Human and Social Security, where relief and support work is done, and many more, like Foreign Affairs. These departments are now in their transitional period. They are in the transitional period because we cannot rush into things. His Excellency Sisiku cannot single-handedly announce a government. That government would not be inclusive. The government would divide us more. So in the next few weeks, very few weeks, there will be an enlarged conclave, the fourth conclave. In that conclave, all members of the governing council will be there. All citizens, senior citizens that have never sold out on this course will be there. All country heads will be there. All heads of departments will be there. And strategic resources that will be brought in so that we do not repeat the mistake of Fumban. Fellow Ambazonians, I therefore happily announce that in the next few weeks, as we converge in yet an undisclosed location at a date that remains undisclosed now, at a time that remains undisclosed now, we will be coming out of that conclave with the most united front, with the first, first, post, first October 2017 government or interim government of the Ambazonian people. We are chairman will truly be transformed as per the dictates of our conclave from the chairman of the governing council to the interim president of our nation, where the vice chairman will become the vice president, the secretary general, and so on. It is in that conclave that if our leaders decide to move certain portfolios so that we can quicken <clears throat> our journey to Boya, that will be done. So rest assured that the Governing Council is listening to you. Rest assured that the Governing Council has been having meetings from the 29th of September on a daily basis. And some of these meetings stretch in the, uh, to the early hours of the morning, some for more than six hours because your pain and your anguish is so deep and we just cannot sleep. The government in exile remains focused and very determined. We call on our people to remain focused and, det and determined. We call on our people to re remain vigilant. We call on our people not to be deceived.